Hello, much better. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to present a scalable SIP server. Kind of a difficult job look, uh, thinking about the previous uh, presentation because we are sitting somewhere in the background, not having nice desktop uh, uh, interfaces or whatsoever. However, I uh, hope it will be interesting anyway. Shortly about the history, uh, we started in a research institute in Berlin quite some time ago. Originally, the uh, project was named SIP Express Router, which was a kind of uh, de facto uh, implementation for uh, SIP routing at that time, and is still like a reference in the open source world. We uh, created a branch by uh, 2005 during some, let's say, more political discussion within the whole project, which was named OpenSer, and actually we discovered that you get a quite good and big project when someone sues you because they say you infringe some trademarks. So we had to change the name in Camailio by 2008 because a uh, US company claimed we infringe the third trademark they have registered. However, although we started a branch in 2005, now we are working again with the original team under so-called Cibrouter project starting by 2008 because we discovered that we can share a lot of knowledge and efforts mainly to the SIP area and we keep kind of direction, self-direction uh, mainly related to user provisioning and architecturing of the backends as extensions. So, uh, just to give you a feeling of how the, the web uh, pages are looking for all these projects, and uh, sites, Kamailio.org and uh, Cibrouter.org with uh, short uh, screenshots uh, down. The pointer is, sorry. In terms of development, we are uh, using Linux. We use C because it's a real-time communication engine. We have to be fast, we focus on scalability. Just to give you an idea, right now we are able to set up a couple of uh, thousand calls Per second, we talk here about setup, so imagine like 10,000 people calling in the same time and one usual server can deal with. And we use all free tools available there to build very fast libraries in terms of parsing SIP messages, uh, routing, doing list uh, cost routing, doing load balancing, doing location of the users, all those core features for uh, a SIP server. As uh, administration and organization of the project, we are very community dri driven. There is no big company behind the project. We uh, have kind of management board based on individuals from different companies from different countries, so we are pretty worldwide established. And uh, we don't have actually much activity there because we try to focus on development, not on political discussions. Last year was a pretty good one and uh, we got some nice awards out there and it was not by luck because the project right now serves one of couple of most biggest uh, deployments and we have some of those that are in charge or guilty by deploying this in some corners of this uh, room. I want just to mention Einzunainz in Germany, one to one, that right now they have over 3 million subscribers because they just uh, integrated with Freenet. So uh, probably there are over three or close to four. Sipgate, another very popular. Uh, VoIP provider in uh, Germany, it's using a solution based on this uh, project, but also other projects that uh, are present also here after my talk, like Asterix and uh, other examples, just to give you an idea, 
tell you all in uh, Norway and Switzerland, Truffon, which is actually doing voice over IP for mobile devices, which is a very interesting uh, right now, and mobile communication is going to grow uh, more and more. Shortly about the features, because right now we have over 150 uh, extensions, so I cannot list all of them. It's a uh, Basically a SIP server, we don't deal with media, it's about signaling level and uh, most of the, the work we do in the, the application is when the call is established to do authentication of the user, to do location discovery for the destination, to apply all these fancy rules right now you want for your uh, calls if you are in vacation or directed to a voicemail or to your secretary or whatsoever and applying a lot of filters. Maybe you don't want to allow calls from the people that are not in your uh, contact list, and so on and so forth. And we are going more and more as an application server because communication is no longer voice or video. A lot of people like to add more instant messaging presence like you saw in the previous presentation. These are very important aspects of uh, today's communication, of course, integration with social networking. We are not a SIP phone because there are other guys doing this better, like uh, Emil and the SIP uh, communicator uh, team. And also we are not a media server or a PBX or a back-to-back -back user agent because there are others doing this good job and they are going to present after me. So we are somehow in the middle. We uh, connect users with services and we scale uh, s platforms to the large number of uh, subscribers. One of the most important, as everywhere with the project, is the, the interface because this allows to add a lot of features without affecting the core. We are in telecommunication business where the most important aspect is to be fast and connect because it's not like with email, if you stay and listen to nothing for about 10 seconds, you said, oh, what happens? You have to get a feedback quickly because this is real-time communication. Also, telecommunication is for emergency services. If someone is going to die, it's not going to wait one minute to get, okay, we are trying to find the close, uh, closer service to you. So we try to keep a reliable, small core and if you have fancy ideas, you can implement it as module. We implement all these basic requirements from the SIP protocol, like SIP proxy, redirect, registrar. Then we have extension for the telephony service, like integration with uh, enum numbering or connection to LDAP directories, advanced routing for list code routing, load balancing, couple of variants. We do support a lot of transport layers. If you want to communicate secure, you can use TLS. If you have a smaller one, you can use UDP. And we have a lot invest in the, the last month in the SCTP because scales in terms of uh, multi-streaming, multi-homing, this kind of features. We are not uh, tied to a specific backend because we have to host a lot of records. Think about uh, username, password, uh, blacklist, uh, whitelist, where to redirect your mobile phones so you can use any kind of database which is more appropriate for you. You can interact with the service via control interface like XML, PC. We have some extension to gateway with uh, XMPP, another open uh, specified uh, communication protocol. And now I'm going to present, and this is my, uh, the, the main topic for uh, this uh, presentation, the latest version, 3.0, which is uh, three weeks old by now, which was actually the result of the collaboration within the SIP router project. Just to give you uh, a comparison, with SIP router project, because now we have Kamailio and SIP Express router, 
coming out of SIP uh, router project is more like with uh, Linux distribution. We have the kernel, which is the parser, the router, and then we have a set of modules that we uh, package and release Camarillo, and there is another set of uh, extensions that we other team release as a SIP Express router. The first thing was to clean up a bit uh, the architecture because there are a lot of deployments using the project on embedded systems to optimize the traffic, for example, in uh, Wi-Fi networks to find the best uh, path to a service. And there you have to be very small. So we moved out a couple of uh, core components as libraries to make it uh, more flexible and uh, smaller in footprint. So actually the core, if you think like uh, Swedish Buffet, does not do, doesn't do much thing. It's like an empty plate. And then if you want to be a very scalable load balancer to, to dispatch thousands of calls per second, you just load a dispatcher module. If you need a list cost router to route calls to the cheapest uh, alternative of your uh, termination providers, then you use appropriate uh, module. So basically, you can be very, very small in providing some services in, in uh, footprint. As I said, a lot of effort was on the transport layer because in the past it was about voice. That was very easy. You just established a connection and the hard job was done by the RTP. But now we have instant messaging. We have a lot of presence. We have uh, people with hundreds of contacts leaks. So now we have to use more and more TCP to exchange this information. And of course, we have to be uh, to protect their privacy. So we actually have to use TLS. And now we uh, have the platform bigger and bigger in terms of number of servers. So inside the platform, you can use SCTP with multi-homing, multi-streaming that gives a very good uh, scalability service. Also, in terms of hiding your internal network, there's an extension to, to mask some uh, privacy headers into the C messages, topology hiding, and also number portability as more and more prefer to take their numbers from provider to provider. DNS caching, you know, all basic, actually, the root of the routing over the internet is uh, DNS. If DNS is slow, you feel like connection is slow. So we have here very good uh, implementation to speed up all this one. Uh, better uh, control interface via XML RPC, uh, reload of the config. You don't need to restart if you want to change parameter of the configs a better structure of the routing block via include files, def and def some parts of the config, you know, the, the C style of uh, defines fallback from very fast or uh, lower resource usage transport protocols like uh, UDP to TCP or uh, TLS if it's the case. So quite a lot of improvements. It's hard to, to list all of them. And beyond VoIP, we do a lot of uh, extensions in the terms of presence and instant messaging, even enable all telephony devices via user location to show active uh, online, offline states. Links, if you want to, to check more about what's new. And although it's like three weeks uh, old by now, it's still a lot of new for the upcoming uh, release 3.1. And I invite you to, to visit the websites. Not all, all of them are listed here because in the last week we have like two other uh, additions, Python API and the debugger for the configuration file. So this is, uh, let's say, a quick run to the project because uh, it's a lot to talk about it. I don't, and I'm just in time. I will take questions on the uh, side of the room or outside if you have. Thank you.